ladies and gentlemen, let me allow now questions to come in. Um, and th there are questions for both the Sako and uh, uh, Mr. Kibe. So we will um, answer them interchangeably. Some are already asking for the contacts of the Sako. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Lauren, for sharing the contacts. I think add the, the email also. Um, I've, I see, um, I think this question before we come to you, Kibe, uh, because he tells me he's about to go to bed. Vincent Lucite is in uh, um, Australia. Uh, and the, I think it's Path City. I don't know what time it is there. I think it's about 1 a.m. Uh, Vincent represents quite a big group. He's the chairman of uh, North, uh, um, Australia Northwest Association that brings together well over 700 members. So Vincent, maybe if you are listening to me, uh, the controller quite allow Vincent to ask his question. I think you have one question for the circle and one question for the for our financial expert. Vincent? Yeah, um, my name is Vincent from the city. I'm uh, in Western Australia. It's uh, just half past midnight now, so it's uh, three hours of the night. So uh, my question is, I'm just wondering what kind of packages do you have um, uh, in terms of this uh, world, world uh, situation and all that? And what are the interest rates, especially on fixed uh, deposit? And then if you may just want to touch about uh, the dividends, what what was the rate of the dividend that was given out last for this ending financial year? So that we just see how, what is the position of the circle. But otherwise, um, I'm, I'm so grateful for the information today. Uh, you opened uh, our eyes and mind and it's a good presentation. I'm so happy. Um, I'm happy that I stayed up this late to listen to you. This goes to the CEO, Abana uh, CEO. Uh, you had the question from Lucite. What packages do you have? Your interest rates on various aspects, I think, uh, depo fixed deposits, uh, dividends, and so on. Abana uh, CEO. And thank you. Thank you, Vincent, for that very good uh, question. Uh, in fact, uh, for the last um, 15 years, we've not been, we've been paying dividend over 15% and highest was uh, 2021 where we paid at um, 18%. And uh, last year we paid at 15%. Rebit on interest, uh, on, uh, on uh, deposit is an undeliverable deposit. We've been paying uh, over 12%. This last year we paid uh, 13%. This year we paid at 12.5%. Uh, we also have uh, other deposits, we call them premium deposits, which you, you can build over a period of time and we have an, uh, a guaranteed uh, rate, which goes up to 10% and up to a maximum of 12%, depending on the period. If you put it for the longer period, then the higher interest that you get. Our fixed deposits also depend on the period and the amount. Uh, and we give up to a maximum of 11%. So if you compare to what uh, other, uh, others are giving, uh, just as our um, uh, facilitator uh, uh, Kibe has said, then uh, you see uh, solution circle is very profitable. So uh, I think uh, we, we are the best. We, you can be sure that uh, your money is safe. We are regulated under SASRA. And uh, every time that you would want to verify what I've said, you can go to Sastra and uh, you'll be able to get all this because every year we, we do audit and uh, we submit our reports to the regulator for approvals. And uh, when, uh, Alex, I also want to say that we, we are almost actually the very first circles even to do audit 2021. We were the first circle to submit uh, uh, audited accounts. This year, we by second week, uh, we had done our audit and uh, people had gotten their dividends and their interest. So in our website, we have uh, the graphs that shows how we've been performing. So we are on an upward trajectory and uh, we are growing. Thank you. 
Okay, while you're still there, Banasi, I think I saw a question that was asking whether one can join from any part of the world and uh, how is technology now enabling you to have members from across the, the, the world? What are they able to do with the technology? Uh, thank you, Alex. Uh, through our solution, SACO app, which is in the Play Store, one can be able to join SACO from wherever part of this country, of this world. I, uh, we have uh, people who are joining from Australia, with people joining from Canada, and they are able to save. Uh, with people who are able to save and borrow while they are there, and they have been able to even to buy properties wherever they are, and uh, it is that easy. Indeed, Bon Alex, I want to say that uh, we and our partnership. Just the other day, we were launching a partnership with uh, with uh, with a credit bank and uh, RIA and uh, this IFAD for remittances from uh, diaspora. We want to make it very very affordable. Very soon, we are also uh, interlinking with the uh, family bank to ensure that uh, one is able to remit straight to what someone's uh, uh, account in the circle. Great. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you provided your data, your email, so you'll be able to get this presentation. It's being recorded at any other information you may want to, to get from our presenter, uh, Kibe, and also the circle. Uh, over to you, Kibe. This is Dominic Kosge. He's asking, or rather, he's beginning by congratulating you. And by the way, many people have liked your topic. Great insight there. Great insight there. Thank you, Kibe. So Dominic Kosge is saying, great presentation. And he's asking, what do you advise to invest in between money, market fund, and circles? Kibe. All right. Thank you so much for the positive feedback. Uh, Mr. Dominic, allow me first to say something before I tackle your question. Remember what we've talked about, everything in this life is a mindset, okay? Now, one of the things I learned painfully over my years is that I was programmed anytime I think about investments, I only think about what I've had before, okay? So my background is actuarial mathematics and financial modeling. So anytime I would think about investments, things like money funds, circles, uh, all these things would come in my mind, shares and all that. But I came to a point where I realized there's also, I refer to these types of investments as formal investments or paper investments. Then we have what we call informal. For instance, if you go up country today, the way we've been raised up in the African culture is to look at those you know, chickens, the goats, as some animals that are just activities which are taking partake in our compound. But I'm telling you, if you turn your mind and start looking at them as cash flowing assets, you will be surprised. So you hear people moving from being a doctor to go, you know, do poultry farming, and you wonder why are they doing this? Number one, there's no tax you're getting there, and the returns are abnormal if you do your research properly. So that's the first thing I want to share with you. So understand when it comes to investments, there are two things you need to consider. You need to consider formal and informal. Uh, if When we started, the peers talked about this idea that they have a bottom up. What was he alluding to? He was alluding to the informal part. Why? Because all of us are programmed when you're thinking about investments to just focus on the formal ones. So no one is paying attention there. And trust me, that's where the money really is. And so when you get partners like Solution Circle, accessing that capital, and these are people who are on the ground, they can see these things happening there. It becomes such a very smooth ride for you. Anyway, to your question now, between my, uh, money market fund and circles, I will definitely go for circles. Why? Number one, you've just had the returns are high. Two, we are looking at uh, what you're saying, there's something called tax. Cooperatives, because of their model, they're exempted or they have some extra miles that the government gives them. So the tax on the interest that you're getting from them is lower than the interest you're going to get from a money fund. That's the, that's, that's the second reason why I would go for that one, right? So that's the answer to you, uh, Mr. Dominic. Thank you so much. I hope, Dominic, you are satisfied with that answer. 
Um, let me appreciate all those comments coming from all corners of the world, uh, from Meru, Nairobi, Mombasa, um, and uh, there's even someone from uh, South Sudan, Justice Mukwach, thank you for joining us from Juba. Um, if you have any question, just raise your hand. Uh, we'll get questions from both Kenya and across the borders. Uh, someone is also from Faro. Um, but, okay, we, we have people from even, uh, I said, Azerbaijan, um, Adelaide, Australia, Ki, Kenya. Uh, thank you all for your comments. And remember, uh, we'll get in touch with you. We have your contacts for any follow up uh, uh, from this session. Um, there's someone SK from Gaborone. Thank you. Um, so, um, is there any other question? By ra by raising your hand, let's know if you have a question. But there was Alex Inyagwa from Boston, USA. Um, Alex, are you hearing us? Maybe you can ask your question now. Yes. Uh, thank you, Kibe. I think I've heard you, and I think my hair was standing on my head, and I don't know what to do. I think you guys have the best that I can rely and trust. I have a couple of questions. Now, with us in diaspora, I don't think it's viable to have guarantors from Kenya. Is there a way you can waiver for all the diasporans? Because when we are remitting our money, we know what we are doing. If we can waiver for people in diaspora, when they are taking loan and they are remitting very nicely, they can be treated when you go to the bank, you just get your loan and you can deal with it. It's so hard to get Garandas back there in Kenya. Secondly, I think you have answered one of the questions is opening an account with you guys in diaspora. I think that one, I can leave it. And then if you have a project facilitating, can you guys also facilitate projects too? Because I know when you take a loan of a two, five million and you give your brother, your sister to run your project, I don't wanna be paying a loan that uh, uh, someone else has misused my money, especially when you're doing a project or building. And then uh, with the mindset, we are also opening an account. We were thinking about the same thing. Is there you guys having something we call pool account? I don't know if you understand the pool account where people come to join together and they're in a certain area, like 50, 60, they can open up an a joint account together there and remit in their funds. But you also you guys can track who is putting in money. Uh, that will be viable for me because I have a few people here, six, seven, eight or 10, 15. They can pull up and put amount into that. I don't know if you can save in dollars or if you can put it into uh, Kenya shillings, but that's uh, a few. I have the three questions. You can may answer them. Alex, and also congratulations to Alex Chamwada. I think you are doing a good job. I don't say for the bad, but for the good, I think Alex has done a good job. If you can use him in diaspora like this, you guys, you don't know what you're doing. You, go, you are going to explode and you better be ready to handle from diaspora. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Alex, for those questions. And uh, uh, yes, we are humbled to hear that uh, um, we are making impact, just connecting Kenyans in the diaspora with the happenings back home. And of course, the happenings back home are things like what is happening at Solution Circle, which is uh, your perfect financial partner in investing back home. So these questions, I think, go to the CEO. I'm sure you captured them. Kindly respond to Alex. But before you come, um, I'd been asked if we could extend just a little for the benefit of those who joined later. I know we've really eaten into your time, but uh, there are some who really want to get one or two things done here. So we'll, uh, we'll extend this by just about 10 minutes for question and answer, and then we wind up. But kindly bear with us. Uh, over to you, CEO. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. I think uh, these are very good uh, questions. I think one is that uh, when, when, once you become a member of Solution Circle, we start building a relationship with you and uh, we keep it. Uh, so when you want to borrow from us, we don't necessarily go for guarantors. Uh, for example, you people in diaspora, most of the times you want to borrow, you, are, you want to acquire some assets. That is what will form part of your uh, guarantee or, or security for your, for your loan. So we really discourage uh, people going for guarantors here and there, but that is the water style. 
and uh, we we are leading it. Uh, we were programmed that uh, you must get uh, uh, you must uh, get uh, the co guarantee from other members, and uh, we are actually shelving this away. We are saying that if you are acquiring an asset that forms your uh, uh, part of your security and uh, you are you are you are your savings also forms part of that. So with that one, don't worry. Uh, on uh, asset finance, yes, we do. We are partnering uh, with uh, other other providers, and uh, recently we in, in discussion with uh, uh, people like Bamburi Cement, where they are. They are able to help us acquire these building uh, materials uh, affordably and uh, if we are giving us uh, if we are giving you a loan to resi build we will be able to disperse that loan in tranches uh, as you continue uh, developing your project we will be giving you feedback we will be giving photos as we release the money we also ascertain that that money has been put into use so being a member of Solution Circle, you are actually a, a partner, and uh, we will ensure that uh, you do not you do not release money. And uh, uh, when you come back, you don't uh, find the, the facility that you are bring you are trying to bring up. Uh, on uh, the group, this is actually here. I hope you remember Chamas. Uh, that uh, is like the merry go round and Chamas. Here we call them Chamas. We are doing quite well in this. And uh, when Alex, you remember the, 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 the young man from Timau who and uh, the Chama and they were contributing uh, 50 shillings every day and they have been able to buy chunks of land. So he did. Uh, when uh, Lucid, uh, Karibu Sana with your team, uh, we actually have the pool account and we will be able to tell you who has deposited and what amount. That we call it Chama, you will enjoy all the benefits of a, of a member and uh, Chama being a member and I will pay you dividend on the same, you'll be able to, to share among yourself. If you, are, if you want to buy a facility together, we will do the same. You can buy a piece of land and uh, subdivide among your members. So that's all, uh, that's all depends on you. So we really bank Chamas and uh, bring very many more not only the one that you have thank you uh well thank you so much Buana CEO. and talking about chamas i think we have a testimonial from a chama in timau our controls person uh, in joroge if you have it kindly let's hear from uh, this chama it's just a short testimonial just about 30 seconds then we will also go to south africa to hear another testimonial in the meantime i'll uh, be uh, inviting uh, uh, Kent Oloibon from uh, Kenya Diaspora Alliance to tell us how they are collaborating with the circle. So, uh, Mr. Njoroge, can we hear from uh, Timau uh, uh, how Chamas are working with the solution of circle? Let's go. I mean, Secretary Wahamerda. Wahamerda ni wakulima ya Marsabet kutoka clan ya Burji. Ni waze wale wali kuwa onalima tangu zamani Tulipata na solution sako September 2020. Wali tusaidia upande alone. Ndo tukapata tractor ya kulima nao. Tulitaka solution sako vile wame tusaidia. Pina wa, wa guru pingine pia. Wote wale wako wa marsabit. Waone mfano yetu. Vile tulifanya na tukashiarikana na solution sako. Tukaendelea. Washikana na solution sako. Waendelea kama sisi. Um, actually that's another group from... Um, Moyale, is it Moyale or Garissa? So you can see the circle has spread its tentacles across Kenya. I don't know if we have uh, the member from uh, South Africa, Njoroge. Yes, Njoroge lines up uh, the member from South Africa. I uh, joined uh, Solution Circle in March of 2016. It's a circle my mom has been a uh, part of for well over 36 years. What I like about uh, being a member of a circle is that your savings grow silently. For the last six years, you know, the state of my finances has changed for the positive uh, because of Solution Circle. Uh, I've invested in real estate. I have invested in agriculture. I have taken uh, loans, for example, to buy a car and, and I've paid those back. 
And of course, the interest rate is much lower than what I would be getting in a, uh, from a commercial bank, which I like very much. I have been able to buy some land in Meru and uh, invest in coffee farming. I've now been harvesting for about uh, two seasons, all which I would not be able to do uh, without Solution Circle. Wow, wow, interesting uh, uh, testimonials there. Um, as we move towards uh, uh, winding up, let's cross to Azerbaijan. They're also about to go to bed. Chumba, uh, Steve, kindly uh, raise your question. Chumba. Well, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you so much for this very insightful um, webinar that uh, I've learned a lot personally. And it's something that has come very timely for me. And thank you for the moderators. Thank you, Alex, for arranging uh, this webinar. My name is Steve Chumba. I work in, um, I'm a hotelier by profession, Wyndham Garden Baku Hotel. I work as a general manager. And uh, investing is one of the things that I've been thinking about so much. And uh, this has come timely, as I said, to help me uh, plan my finances. And uh, circles, I'm a member of some two circles in a country I was working before. But I think I've been so much attracted to what I've seen today from uh, what has been explained. And probably I'm, I'm going to be one of the people to be enrolled very soon to this circle. I just have some, some few questions. Sorry if I missed, uh, and maybe someone answered during the presentation, but allow me to kindly ask this. Uh, the first one is that, um, can the circle acquire uh, real estate on behalf of its members? That's my first question. And the other one is, um, what is the process to terminate one's membership from the circle? Uh, if, you if one feels like, okay, my time has come to exit the circle, what is the process to do the exit? And then my last question, if I clear my loan before the completion date that has been set as per the agreement, will I be required to pay interest for future periods or my interest ends with the last sum that I'm paying uh, immediately? Sorry, thank you. Those are my three questions and thank you so much for everything. I'll be contacting you through my, uh, the emails, the contact details that you've provided so that I see how I can be able to join you very much and good evening. Oh. Wow, thank you so much, uh, Steve. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be surprised to learn that uh, there are only just about seven Kenyans living in Azerbaijan, and uh, Steve knows all of them. Uh, so Steve, I'm sure you'll be the messenger to tell them about uh, this uh, very timely topic. Uh, so over to you, Bana CEO, uh, to answer Steve's questions. Thank, thank you, Alex, uh, Steve, uh, thank you. Uh, indeed, uh, we do acquire real estate or properties for our members. We have also a housing and investment cooperative, a subsidiary of a solution circle. So if you identify a house or an estate that you would want us to buy for you, we will uh, do it. We will have value and charge the property will be your security. So uh, indeed, we are, we are very strong in that. So once you identify the property you want, where you want it, and uh, at what cost, we will go ahead and uh, pay uh, on your behalf as you be left to be settling your or paying your loan. Uh, question number two uh, about exit. Uh, if you want to exit uh, being a member yeah, and you want your deposit returned, you only give us a, a notice of, uh, of not exceeding 60 days. So. It can take a, a day depending on where we when when we are having a, a board meeting because this must be sanctioned by board uh, membership uh, board uh, sitting. So if we are uh, we have a board sitting next week and you've just given us a, a notice today, then uh, by end of uh, by 15th uh, May you should have your deposit back uh, to your account. Uh, and lastly, we do not charge you for any early payment. 
So in fact, uh, we say that um, as you pay, we charge actually your interest on a reducing balance. That means that uh, you only pay for the balance that you have that particular time that you are clearing your loan. So we have no early payment penalties. Thank you, Alex. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know we've overstretched and we changed the program uh, really apologetic to the technical hitches we had at the beginning. And uh, we had really to go into the topic, uh, but uh, we changed the program to have uh, the commissioner for cooperatives uh, join us uh, after we've had the meet of this uh, uh, discussion you've had about solution circle, you've had about uh, advantages of circles. And thank you, Dan Lucorito from uh, Dan Lukorito from Kenya, you are saying, I like the example of Gidunguri. Can you imagine the transformation that will occur in this country if every household had an income to save? So on that note, briefly, really apologetic, let's join a commissioner for uh, cooperatives, uh, David Obonyo, to give us an overview about governance among circles. We now have understood the circle movement and the cooperative movement. Uh, so give us an overview about just how circles are um, being regulated and the governance issue, uh, Bona Commissioner. Sorry that we've kept you, but we have to make some changes to the program. Better late than never. Karibu, Bona Commissioner David Obonyo. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alex, and uh, the rest of uh, the members who have been uh, who have logged in. I want just to take maybe one or two minutes, because I know it has taken quite a while. I want to say that uh, circles are very special vehicles. They are a special business model that uh, has been uh, very critical in transformation of our lives, especially here in Kenya. And as most of us are aware, circles is actually a way of life. Uh, circles in Kenya, they are uh, governed under three legislations. We have the Corporate Societies Act, Cup 490, and we have also the Circle Societies Act. So the two registrations regulates the operations, the registration operations and liquidations of cooperatives. What happens, circles that have a, a FOSA, that is front office service activities, and the circles that have a deposit of 100 million Kenya shillings, they are regulated by SASRA. SASRA regulates the of business, but uh, the issue of corporate body still remains with the commissioner for cooperatives. So what happens uh, currently, cooperatives and the circles per se, they are uh, read by a board of uh, governors, mainly normally nine board members who are elected in a, an annual general meeting. And also we have uh, three supervisory board members who are the oversight body that uh, takes care of the operations of the, of the daily administration of the cooperatives. And the uh, circles that are regulated by SASRA, uh, like uh, solutions, they need to have a CEO and some key uh, uh, directors in uh, specific areas or departments to ensure that there is good governance. One of the key issues that uh, all circles have to adhere to is that every year, within four months after the end of the financial year, they have to ensure that they have conducted the annual general meeting, whereby they have to present audit accounts so that members to have a feeling on the operations and the achievements of the circle for the last year. Likewise, the board has to ensure that all the expenditures have been uh, approved prior before the expenditure. So circles are supposed to present budget for consideration and approval by the members. One issue I want to mention is that uh, circles have been able to, to mobilize quite a a huge savings in Kenya, and as uh, maybe a number of you could be aware, uh, circles in Kenya right now, they have assets worth over 1.5 uh, trillion Kenya shillings, and uh, they have more price deposits of about 1.2 uh, 
trillion, and uh, they have a, a road portfolio of about one trillion. That's a very gross amount, and out of that, that is the reason why the government has been very keen to ensure that the circles are vibrant, they are safe, and uh, they are able to, to safeguard members' funds. And out of that, the government has been able always to ensure that we have uh, tried to, to review and repeal the legal registrations very regularly in order to ensure that the, 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 the regressions we have in place, they are in pace with the ever-changing business model that is happening all over the world. And uh, out of that, currently, we want to introduce, we want to introduce the SACO Central and Shared Service Platform, which is going to enable SACOs to be able to participate in the national payment system and also be able to share, especially the ICT platform, which is going to reduce trustcarry, their, their, their operational cost. And by reducing the operational cost, then it means members will be receiving higher dividends and lipids from their depots. The only issue I want to assure Kenyans, wherever they are, whether within the country, within the borders, and even outside in the diaspora, is that our SACO subsector in Kenya is one of the fastest growing subsector globally, as, uh, as has been stated by the International Cooperative Alliance. And the management and operations of the Kenyan SACO is safe. Whoever who wants to invest, who wants to deposit money, you, you want to assure you that uh, the circles and your money in the circles will remain be safe. And uh, all those other maybe issues, we used to have some questions of uh, mismanagement. Right now, they are not there. Circles are actually competing very effectively with the end other financial institutions, including even commercial banks. And that's why you can see that SACOs, especially in depots, they are contributing about that 1% of our national savings. Thank you, uh, Alex, and uh, I feel uh, I need back to you. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. I feel like clapping uh, for Commissioner for Cooperatives, very crispy to the point and uh, uh, very informative. And I can see comments coming in, very informative uh, session. Uh, keep your comments coming. We'll share these comments to all of you. Um, uh, if you have any question for Commissioner, kindly let me know. And as we prepare to get questions for Commissioner for Cooperatives, uh, let us hear from Kent Oloibon. Kent? Yes, uh, good evening. And um, uh, thank you very much to the PS and the Commissioner for Cooperatives for gracing this occasion. And uh, thank you very much. Mr. Marete and your team for such a wonderful uh, evening, as well as uh, Alex from Seattle. I know this Saturday, Alex, uh, we are looking forward to one of your features of Kenyans who have a SACO in the US who are rearing Mbuzi for Nyamachoma. That's a good example of uh, one of the spirits the Kenyans have. Now, in short, um, my name is uh, Kent Laibon Libiso. I am a director of Kenya Diaspora Alliance. And um, more importantly, um, the Kenya uh, government has just formed a technical uh, working group, which will have representatives from the treasury, from the CMA, from as well as uh, myself and others from the diaspora associations. Now, one of the key tasks is to look at how to increase uh, the um, diaspora remittance, which is currently at 4 billion. The government target is to get it to 10 billion, which is a trillion shilling, such as the one we have this evening, we can hit that target. Uh, more so, which is also very important, is to create the culture of savings because uh, the diaspora remittance statistics we have is that 75% goes towards 
social welfare. So I'm very glad and thank uh, the organizers of this occasion because uh, Mr. Kibe has given a very good shift, mind shift, and that is going to assist with increasing savings for those in diaspora. With those remarks, I thank you very much, uh, Mr. Marete. We were together at the launch of the IFAD, uh, as, as well as the Credit Bank initiative with yourselves to see how to uh, get the payment platform for rural savings uh, for Kenya. But the value addition is very important, which the PS talked about, the whole value chain. Thank you very much. And let's keep up the good work. Well, thank you so much, uh, Kent, for those remarks. And remember, Kent is a director with the Kenya Diaspora Alliance, an alliance that um, you can collaborate with whether you live in Kenya or abroad. They work quite closely with the returnees also. But remember, we are all intertwined, whether you didn't go to the diaspora or you went to the diaspora. We, we, we support each other. And um, uh, Kent, uh, uh, as you said, their circles are playing a key role in our socioeconomic development. Uh, um, then Kent, maybe you could also share your contacts in the chat there for those who may be reaching out to the Kenya US, I mean to the, the Kenya Diaspora Alliance, apologies. Um, a quick one, um, I believe uh, Wanyonyi, you have a question for Commissioner, I saw you raised your hand. Joseph Wanyonyi, tell us where you are and raise your, your question. Ladies and gentlemen, I would have really wanted to wind up, but it seems the topic is uh, getting more and more interesting. I'll just allow a few more questions. I know we still have uh, um, a number of people online, so uh, better have uh, more people get the meet than close uh, prematurely. So um, we will be winding up soon, but let's see a, a question for Commissioner if you have. Joseph Wanyonyi, are you hearing me? Go ahead. Yes, I can hear you, Alex Chamada. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I think I'm very grateful to you have um, tackled something that maybe has been disturbing you about the mindset uh, and to keep it, which is very important in, in terms of selling, saving culture. Now, uh, a few of my questions have been already been asked about the grandership in terms of um, alternative grandership or security or collateral for the loans. That was uh, to the CEO, but he already mentioned that uh, probably the property or the real estate will be acquiring will be the one to form part of your security for the loan, which 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 is great. And then I just want to ask about the interest rates that the loan will be attracting or their products attract so that we will be able to compare with that in the market. And lastly, um, since uh, probably when you relocate, what happens normally is uh, that in Kenya, they look at your CRB ratings before you get your uh, loan or facility. Uh, what do they look at when probably you're like it? Because probably you may not have them, uh, that CRB may not be applied to you when you are in diaspora. Uh, those are my reactions <laughs> and my questions. Thank you. Uh, quickly, yes. what I see you. Thank you. I think about um, the CRB. Uh, basically, what we do is that uh, we we look at your ratings while you're in Kenya. I believe also while at, abroad. Uh, I am sure these uh, the CRBs could also assist us. Uh, if you are listed abroad, there there is a way also they also integrate. So we will not have a, a really an issue in uh, appraising you. But what is very, very important is not really the, the, whether you're in the CRB or not, uh, is the will. Do you have the will to borrow and pay? I think that is what is very, very important. And uh, for cooperatives, uh, we, we all come together. There is that maturity that uh, we are coming here together to help each other. So that is, that is what we, we normally do. We encourage our members to borrow wisely and to, to, to you know you know to borrow and pay wise, uh, regularly and uh, borrow wisely so about the uh, interest rate um we have a uh, uh, our standard loan it goes up to 12 percent on a reducing balance if you calculate that and uh, reduce it on a flat rate it will be 6.5 percent if you pay uh, within one year 
If it is extend to three years, it will even go lower at 6.1%. Uh, we normally give you the schedule. So if you pick on a product, we will give you the rates and we will give you the schedule to tell you how much you'll be paying on a monthly basis, what goes to the principal, what goes to the interest, and if you, if you pay within what period, how much will you be able to pay? But I want to point out that uh, the wise way to do is borrow long term, pay short term. Uh, that is, you'll be able to pay very little. If you get even uh, one point or zero point one percent, but you pay for a very long time, the interest that you'll be paying will be also huge because you've stayed with the money for for very long. Uh, so I think uh, the best thing is uh, borrow uh, long term, pay short term. Okay, and there is a related question, uh, Bona CEO. What are the investment opportunities back home, especially for those in the diaspora through Solution Circle? Uh, there are quite a number. One is that uh, through our housing and investment uh, win, you can be able to acquire uh, prime land wherever you want. So we'll be able to facilitate you. Uh, number two, we, you have an opportunity to invest your money in very uh, safe uh, product, like what we said, uh, the non withdrawable deposit that hands you up to 12.5%. We have also fixed deposit accounts that will uh, earn you almost 11, 10, depending on the amount. So the opportunities are huge. And therefore, it is important that uh, you explore our website and you'll be, be able to get all this. Uh, Alex, if I can point out, uh, we have a solution AFIA whereby those that are uh, abroad and uh, they have uh, parents back home, they can buy them, uh, they can pay for them uh, that, that, that cover and they will be able to be taken care of. Even though they are past the age, most of the insurance will not allow anyone be able to 60, but for this one, even at the age of 74, somebody can be able to join. So the opportunities are huge. That is why we are saying today we are starting a journey. We will be able to share, we'll be able to comment, we'll be able to interact more. Uh, so uh, Alex, I think for the sake of time, I want to leave it at that, but uh, this discussion is open. We will dedicate an officer. We will be able to walk our members uh, the journey, those that will be interested even after this webinar. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, great. There are also opportunities in land, as you saw on the uh, presentation, um, the graphics that came over there. Um, now, this is uh, key to the commissioner. Um, commissioner, there's uh, someone who attended briefly and left, but asked me to ask you, uh, what assurance are you giving to people about circles? Uh, he's saying that uh, in the past, there's been uh, I think he's referring to what happened in the past that uh, circles at some point, uh, or some circles at some point were not quite uh, uh, managing uh, member finances well. You talked about regulation and what you are doing, but what assurance can you give to participants here that uh, circles in Kenya are good? Uh, thank you, uh, Alex. Uh, I want to say that uh, currently we have been trying to tighten our regulations. And uh, that's why we have been repealing the Corporate Science Act. We have been repealing the Circle Science Act. We have developed the new regulations. And uh, I want to assure everybody that, uh, that your money in the circle is as safe and secure like any money that is in any other commercial bank. Save for the other advantages that you get, like high dividends and also getting some, uh, some, some lipids at the end of the year, and also being involved in decision making. Because once you, you, you become a member of a circle, then you become a shareholder and you participate in, uh, in the HGM in making decisions and deciding the way circles need to move. And even also participating in the elections whereby you decide to is going to be the director. So I want to assure everybody that uh, uh, any money in the circle in Kenya currently it is safe and secure, and we encourage everybody to to join the the, the circle subsector. And that's why 
this year's Mandarakan Day, which is going to be celebrated on uh, on, uh, on on 1st of, uh, of June, this coming month in Embu, the theme is all about MSME and cooperatives. So you can see the kind of emphasis, the kind of effort the government is putting in the SACO and the cooperatives in general. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Bona Commissioner. And just to state that uh, the talk earlier with the CS in charge of cooperatives and MSMEs, uh, Honorable um, Simon Chelugui, and he said he would have liked to be part of this webinar, but next time, so you can see uh, the spirit, the spirit from the government and the relevant ministry. Um, quickly, quickly, I know we are running out of time, but Isabella really begged that she ask a quick, asks a question. I don't know if Isabella, if you have just about 20 seconds, Isabella from Botswana, are you there? Okay, thank you, Mr. Alex and everybody in the house. Good evening, members. Uh, my question just wanted to, my question is going straight to the solution, uh, the solution circle. I wanted to know what are the requirements when you deal with the support to the diasporas? Because most of the circle at times, they will be asking you to give them the statement, bank statement within Kenya. What about the one world not in Kenya? Do you recognize the statement from the foreign country? Thank you. Um, um, we'll come to you, Isabella. Isabella is in Botswana. Agnes, quickly. Yes, my name is Agnes from Vancouver. I am a board director of Kenyan Community in British Columbia. Now, um, my questions are two at the moment. Uh, I would like to know if uh, you can buy out uh, somebody who is on another circle and would like to jo join solution. And another thing, in case I have my children that I want to invest in the circle, what is, is there any age limit or you can take and uh, they can also open up uh, accounts into, into the circle solution? Thank you. Wow, very pertinent questions, much as we want to wind up. Buona CEO, one, I think uh, Agnes asked, uh, uh, can you buy one from another circle? And then I think uh, children joining. I'm sure they, I think there's another third question you may have uh, noted down when I see you. And yes, then yes. Isabella in Botswana, requirement whether this, the bank statements and so on, uh, the, the diaspora. Okay, see you. Uh, thank you, Alex. I want again to state that uh, once we start this uh, engagement, uh, we will be able to work the journey together. So about the statement, uh, we will be able, we will accept your statement uh, from whatever country that you are in. We have uh, the rate we can be able to convert and see what you are earning depending on the currency that you are using. So you did, those uh, statements are, are varied and we can use them uh, for agonists so that I also complete the time. Uh, we will evaluate the situation, uh, the, 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 the the case, uh, there are there are times that we would advise not to not to really to 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 to, to buy you because if you have just taken a huge loan uh, loan with a um, a particular circle now getting another one uh, may not be necessarily uh, uh, benefit you. So we look at uh, the, the 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 take home uh, after we've got have after we've cleared your loan from that other circle that you have, is there any other money that you are taking home? Is it uh, of any uh, economic value? So we also advise you or either to wait or we can take uh, we can go ahead and buy you out of that. For the children, yes, we have a very nice uh, product for young uh, adults and uh, young kids. We call them uh, Hippo Junior. We encourage our our kids to start uh, being uh, taught how to save. When they get a gift from their uncles, their cousins, and whatever, we teach them to take uh, into those uh, boxes and they take that money to to bank themselves. So you can support uh, you can support your kids. Uh, you can sponsor them to have those accounts, and once they uh, they they. At, at in the age of majority, we will continue with those accounts. And uh, it is very, very important. So thank you, Alex, we, we do all that. Uh, great, I, I didn't go into uh, Paul questions because of time, but uh, we'll share, we'll share. All this is uh, online, thanks for technology. We'll continue interacting. Um, I, wanna, I wanna want to, re 
to wind up this because we've really gone uh, overboard. I think it's uh, uh, 16 minutes past 8 p.m. in Kenya. Uh, here in Seattle, uh, it's 10:16. Uh, so allow me to um, just play, if you don't mind, one summary of Solution Sako in video. If you can play that, Njoroge, uh, uh, the one minute summary of Solution Sako, and then we'll do a uh, vote of thanks as we wind up. Um, is the clip ready? Um, as he prepares the clip, really this was quite mm -hmm. a, a timely webinar and we thank all those who've come on board. Hi. It has been an impressive journey of Solution Circle over 30 years, but its origin dates back to 1976 when Meru Teacher Circle was registered. The word solution is very important because we are offering financial solutions to our members. The circle has grown tremendously. It's as if now it's just a certain learning. Solution Circle had an asset base of over 8.3 billion Kenya shillings as at 30th December 2022. By April 2023, it had over 30,000 members drawn from different sectors. Over the years, the SACO has declared dividend payout to members at a rate of up to 18%, while members' deposits and savings and interest of up to 13%. I wish to strongly recommend a journey with Solution Circle. Uh, great. So we are coming to the end of this uh, webinar. Uh, we really want to thank our uh, key speaker on the topic, mind, money over, mind over money. Andrew Kibe uh, for that good pre presentation. You've seen the feedback there. Thank you for making up time and uh, you can see people want more. We can organize another session. Uh, I want to uh, really thank uh, the Commissioner for Cooperatives who is now in this forum representing uh, uh, government and the State Department for Cooperatives for making up time for us. I'm sure you've listened to comments from participants uh, these comments will be valuable in improving the sector and thank you for assuring participants that uh, circles are safe to invest with and uh, you can belong to a circle from any part of the world. Uh, David Obonio, uh, Commissioner for Cooperatives, thank you so much for your time. Um, I want to thank the leadership of Solution Circle from uh, Chairman uh, to CEO for, uh, you know, uh, sponsoring this uh, webinar that has been hosted by Champs Media. Uh, you've really uh, put in so much to ensure that uh, we're able to listen to this topic and it's been uh, quite timely in relation to the circles. As the Commissioner for Cooperatives said there, uh, the theme for Madaraka Day this year is uh, SMEs and uh, cooperatives and their role in our uh, socioeconomic development. Um, I, I would go on and on, but just to pick those and re remember we had uh, the principal secretary for uh, cooperatives, Patrick Kilemi, who opened this webinar. And we really want to uh, thank him. Uh, when a commissioner passed the message to him that uh, it, the, the webinar went quite well, and we'll share the feedback from this webinar. If I've left out anybody, you will forgive me. But to thank ourselves also, uh, we've got representation from Vancouver to uh, Botswana to uh, you know Azerbaijan. There was Paris also, uh, there was London, and let's keep interacting. Let's keep it a solution circle. So um, I wouldn't wind up without giving um, this chance to the chairman of Solution Circle to just give a quick thank you note, and then we have a, a word of prayer before we wind up. Abana Chairman Karibu. Thank you, Alex Chamwanda. Uh, uh, as Solution Circle, we are very grateful. Thank you for the Ministry of Cooperatives for joining the webinar. All those who have joined it from various parts of the world, we are very grateful and appreciative. And we wish that they join Solution Circle as some of them have uh, expressed their interest so that we can uplift our livelihoods and can bring the catch of savings as the government is 
bringing this idea to Kenyans. So we are asking uh, circles are the way of life, as some of somebody said. So as the chairman, I'm say I'm calling upon all to join in a circle and more so a solution circle. Thank you very much, everybody, for the the kind of engagement we had. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Bwana Commissioner for Cooperatives. You are winding up. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, uh, everybody, for having found time to join us. We'll get back to you with uh, this presentation either via email or uh, I think via text. So, uh, Lauren, we come to you again to give us a prayer as we finish. Lauren? Um, thank you very much, Alex. Uh, my name is Lauren Kaimeni. I'm the Public Relations and Marketing Manager at Solution Circle. Let me also just take this opportunity to thank everyone for joining in. Allow me to just share my contact as I, as I start the prayer session. So let us believe and pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you this moment. We would like to thank you for enabling us to have this wonderful session. We thank you for the participants, the panelists, and the discussions that we've had here today. We believe and pray that each and every one of us will become a better person after this webinar by Solution Circle and Charms Media and the different partners that we have. We also thank you for the leadership and the teams that have been able to join in, Lord. We pray that you may continue blessing us and giving us the wisdom as we continue to carry our day-to-day -day activities. As we part now, Lord, we pray that you may be with each and every one of us, continue blessing us, and Lord, we will continue giving you all the glory and honor. We pray this, believing and trusting in your holy name. Amen. Thank you very Amen. much, everyone. Uh, let me just share my contact. I believe everyone can see my contacts on the screen. We will also be getting in touch with the panel, with the participants. We really, really, really appreciate. And to everyone who would love to join Solution Circle, Karibu Sana Solution Circle, we are here to walk the financial journey with you. Thank you. Okay, Kilicho na mwanzo wa kikosi kuwa na mwisho. Ndiyo tumefikia kutomo. He webinar. Thank you so much, everyone who attended, and you can now live at your own pleasure. Bye bye.